For the first test in determining pH, we will use indicators. We will be using two types of indicators. The first indicator that we will use is called methyl red. The second indicator that we will use is phenol phthalene. Phenol phthalene. So I have a set of test tubes. I have six total test tubes. And in each of the rows, there are two rows of three. I have tap water, ammonia, and club soda. I'm gonna test each of these three liquids for pH by using each of those two indicators. So first, let's use the methyl red indicator. And let's first add the methyl red indicator to the tap water. So this is tap water. I have about one milliliter of tap water in this test tube. I'm gonna place two to three drops of indicator in this test tube. I'll shake to mix, and we note the color of methyl red indicator in the tap water. Next is the ammonia. Again, I'll put two or three drops of the methyl red in the ammonia. And we note the color. And then finally, the club soda. Again, two to three drops of methyl red. And again, we note the color. Next, we're going to test each of, of those three same liquids, but this time with the phenolphthalein indicator. So first, the tap water with phenolphthalein. Note any color change. Remember, if there's no color change, you'll say it's colorless. And if you can still see through the solution, then it's also clear. Next is the ammonia. The ammonia with phenolphthalein. And then finally, the club soda. Again, note to see if there's any color change. If not, then it will be colorless. And if you can still see through the solution, then it is also clear. If you can't see through the solution, if light is not passing through the solution, then you would say it's cloudy or opaque. But if you can see light passing through the solution, then it's clear. And if no color change, then colorless. And so now that we've tested each of the three liquids with the two different indicators, now consult with your group members on determining the pH range for each of those liquids based on the color or colorless nature of the resulting liquids after you added each type of indicator.